So for the selective repeat, the selective repeat is similar to the go back in, but this is different in that um, when you have okay selective repeat or selective reject, okay, when you send A and B, and A um, sends frame number zero, one, two, three, like this. Okay, when this one sent, transmit. <laughs> okay, suppose it receives zero, one, two correctly, and and there's something wrong with the with the number three. Okay. And it have received number four and number five correctly also. Okay, so at this time it's send reject. <clears throat> for go back in, we will throw away, remember? We will throw away the number four and number and number five, right? We will throw this away because I, we didn't get the number three correctly. But in this case for the selective reject, we will Keep number four and number five. So at the receiver B, okay, we will keep zero, one, two, and number four and number five. So it will not throw the number four and number five away. If you keep this, but this one will be blank because number three is not correct, so it will be blank. Then when this one got selective reject here, selective reject number three. Yeah. Okay. So the transmitter A say number three again. Okay. When it receives number three, it will put number three here. Okay. And the next one that the frame that will be sent next will be number six. Because four and five have been received correctly already, and it keep number four and number five. So the next one will be number six, number seven. Okay, it will go on like this. So this is the difference between the go back end and selective reject. Okay, for go back end, you have to throw away everything after number three that you have received wrong. Okay, but for the selective reject, you will keep all the frame that have been received correctly, and you just leave a uh, place for the one that is wrong, okay? So, so that you put number three in this place. The next one just gonna be number six and then the number seven. Like this. Okay. So if you look at the slide, you see that um, the receiver, they can receive the frame out of order. The receiver can receive the frame out of order, like this. So it have a blank here. It can receive number four first, and then go back to receive number three. Okay. So this, for the selective reject, okay, we minimize the number of transmitted frames. So tra retransmit only the frame that have problems. Okay. Um, therefore, it have a higher efficiency than the go back in ARQ. However, it is more complicated than the go back in ARQ. So in practice, actually go back and is more widely used. Okay, it's more popular because it's easy that you don't have to leave some space. Okay, you will just you just if that if for go back and if you don't receive number three, you just wait. Okay, so you just um, throw everything away until you got number three, right? And then you just put number three here and number four, number five. That will be go back and so the receiver is very easy doesn't have to keep the blank space. So go back and you just, if you don't get number three, you will just wait for number three. And then after number three, then you get number four, number five, okay, and so on. Cannot, you cannot have blank space in between, okay. Um, now to prevent ambiguity, the, to, to prevent like, um, to cause no, con no confusion as to which frame is transmitted 
Okay. Now the window constraint is more restrictive, which means that the window has to be smaller than the go back in because you have some blank in between, right? So you have some, you have like zero, one, two, and then you have a blank, and then you have four, five. Okay. So if you have, you use the same uh, window size, it may have a problem. Okay. I skip the proof here. I, I actually have the the proof in my old sheets. Okay. A few years ago, I, I showed the proof, but I think it's it's too complicated to put in the in the class. But if you want, you can come and ask me. I will show you the the proof. Okay, because um, go back and it's very easy to prove. We prove using uh, this one. Remember, we use this picture to prove that uh, this picture six point four. We prove that it has to be two to the two to the b, and then minus one, right? So if b equals to three, we have the window size of go back in no more than seven. We prove that if it's eight, then you cannot do it, okay? However, for the selective repeat, the proof is very different. Um, if you want to prove this, actually you have to kind of look at the two extreme case, the worst case. Okay, two two worst case, and then kind of find like the overlap. Okay, so it's totally different kind of proof. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the window of the selective repeat is less than or equal to two to the order of b minus one. So formula, the formula are very similar, but the meaning is different for selective repeat or selective reject. Okay, the window size less than or equal to two to the b minus one. Minus one here in the order in the superscript, but the go back in. Okay, the window size less than or equal to to the b, and then minus one after after the two to the b. Okay, after you calculate two to the b. So let's look at an example. If b equal to three. Okay. If B equal to three, what is the window for the selective reject? Hmm? Four. How about this one? This is seven, right? Okay. B equal to four. This one would be eight. And this one would be fifteen. Okay? So it's about the selective reject window is about about half. You know, not actually half, a little bit more than a half of the go back end. You see, so the window size is smaller. So when you move, remember that our window size is fixed size. So you have to keep, you know, moving with this, like four, something like this. Okay. So safety reject, we will have like window size equal to four. If B equal to three, this is your window size that you have to move. Okay. Now, when we talked about the error control, all of what we have done up to now is just uh, one-way communications, right? So A to B. A has something to send to B, but B has nothing to send back to A. So B will send only acknowledgement. It's like what we are doing right now, one-way communications, okay? But in the real world, okay, in the real communications, is two-way communications. Okay, like you exchanging the data, like you call your friends, or you send in a line. Okay, it will be two ways communications. For so for two ways, it will be A sent to B, and B also sent to A, right? So you kind of have um, you kind of have like double of this, double double of this. Okay, you have um, receive B sent to A. For example, here. This have another another set of frames here. Something like this. Okay. So it's kind of look difficult, 
right? To see, but so we will uh, simplify the the diagram, okay, to make it easier to see the the two-way communications, okay, and that will lead us to the high-level data link control protocol. Um, one thing that I want to tell you is this: if you have um, remember, okay, this is our selective reject, right? Suppose you want to send frame number four, and also you want also want to send selective reject number three. Okay, what do you do? Should you send like two frames, or should you put the information in the same frame and send at the same time? Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. This one is no, 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 no. No, it's opposite side. It's opposite side. It's opposite side. It's this one. This is the selective reject, right? Ah, over here. You have originally you have selective reject here. Sorry, not not that side. This side. You have selective reject here. And you also want to send frame number five, right? You also want to send frame number five here, right? So should you send it separately or should you put it in the same frame? What do you think? Huh? Do you think it's separate? How about the others? Huh? We actually put it in the same frame so that it will be easy to manage. When we put it in the same frame, we call it picky backing. You know picky backing? Picky backing is like when you have someone in your back, like when you have a child in your back and you kind of run, and, and that's called picky backing. You know, like you have someone on, you know, a small child, and then you run, you know, as a horse or something, <laughs> to play a horse. So that's um, piggybacking, okay? So you put the selective reject, which is a very small amount of information in the frame that you are sending, okay? Now we will see how, how to do that in practice, okay, in the HDLC uh, protocol. Okay, this one is um, 